the words came out of Dr. Lacani that I had multiple masses and I had a very large mass on my pancreas. <clears throat> I was in a bit of a denial. So when my biopsy results did come back and it revealed lymphoma, it was a sense of relief. It was a sense of, we can beat this, we've got a chance. But that didn't happen. My cancer may have improved a little bit, but it was finding another way. It was mutating. It was outsmarting the chemotherapy. I was very, very scared, but there was another way and that was CAR-T immunotherapy. So with CAR-T therapy, what we do is we, um, is we collect uh, T cells directly from the patient's own bloodstream. So these are a patient's own immune cells. And we take these cells and we then genetically engineer them, interestingly using a viral particle that's very similar to HIV uh, that is able to inoculate the cell and deliver a gene, uh, a novel gene to the T cell, and that novel gene then migrates into the chromosomes, gets integrated into the chromosomes, and starts to produce a new protein called a CAR. A CAR stands for a chimeric antigen receptor. It's not something that exists in nature, it's a freak of nature, it's a product of synthetic biology. And what it is, is it's a, on the outside, it's an antibody. Uh, a molecule that's able to recognize uh, a marker on the surface of the cancer cell. And that's connected uh, to a, a series of signaling domains or molecular switches that work inside the T cell. So once that antibody is engaged on the outside and sends a signal through the, that stalk of that molecule to the inside of the cell, that turns on the cell to divide and become activated. And so that, uh, that T cell is essentially reprogrammed and redirected by that genetic modification, by that genetic engineering. But once the CAR T goes in and latches onto the cancer, which each cell that it kills, it starts to multiply and then you have billions of CAR cells throughout your body that are killing your cancer. This is really a living therapy. These cells, we give a small number of these cells and they expand many thousands of fold within the body. And these individual T cells then can go and recognize other cancer cells and then they deliver killing molecules that basically perforate uh, and destroy the cancer cell that it attaches to. And I got stronger and stronger each day afterwards. Looking forward to seeing the PET scan, wanting to know what was the outcome. Did it work? How much of it was gone? And when I did get that PET scan 30 days later, I couldn't believe no cancer. All of it was gone. They couldn't find anything. I could not believe. I could not believe my good fortune. I could not believe it. Been in this field for 35 years, and, and this is really a, an advance, that, uh, an achievement that we had, couldn't even conceive of uh, back then. It's just truly, it's remarkable. It's, uh, it's miraculous. It's, uh, it is a, a dream come true for patients, but also for you know, those who've been you know, working in the field for so many years to, um, you know, to, to devise and develop these, these, these therapies.